I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Monday, September 11th, 2023. I'm Dean Lynn, along with the rest of the FTV crew. Today we will begin a little more solemn, as it is Remembrance Day, also known as Patriot Day. This day is observed commemorating the tragic events of September 11, 2001, when terrorist attacks occurred on American soil. On this day, 22 years ago, hijackers carried out coordinated attacks on four commercial airplanes and crashed them into the World Trade Center towers in New York City, the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, and a field in Pennsylvania. These attacks resulted in the deaths of nearly 3,000 people, making it the deadliest terrorist attack in world history and a significant moment in American history. Today, America honors the victims, reflects on the impact of the attacks, and pays tribute to the heroism of the first responders and ordinary citizens who helped during the crisis. It also serves as a reminder of the resilience and unity of the American people in the face of adversity. Have you heard about the new COVID variant? You may have heard that COVID-19 has been making its rounds again. And at first, the newest variant, BA 2.86, nicknamed Pyrola, looked pretty scary. But data out just last week is a bit more encouraging. Experts were initially worried that shots and previous infections wouldn't be protective. But three studies released along with the new vaccine trial data from Moderna suggest Pyrola has been, and we are quoting here, downgraded from a hurricane to not even a tropical storm, says Dr. Topol of Scripps Research. COVID-19 infections have been rising some since early July, but these findings say the media may be giving the variant a little more bite than research findings show it to have. But as always, it is getting closer to fall, and that means cold season, so be safe. If you like spicy food, KFC has hot wings coming out, and Shake Shack's got burn burgers, and Gatorade will start marketing its new drink, water. If you pass by the activities wall on the way to lunch, you may have seen that more notices are going up. This morning, the student council had their first interest meeting for all students in room 204 with Mr. Hearn. Currently, the Gamers Club, which meets in room 203, will start having sessions. The Oakcrest Dance Team will have auditions on September 26th to the 28th. The Culinary Club will meet in room 415 at 250 every Thursday. If chess is your game or you would like to learn, Grandmaster and current teacher of the year, Mr. Weisbach can show you how. Are you okay? You know, we have a chess team where you can play on the players. You should join. They meet in 306 on B and C days during zero period. The R Club will soon begin with its meetings in room 407 after school, but meets on C days during both sessions of zero period as well. With the conclusion of today's D-Day, we will have run through the schedule of days, and that means a week of school has already passed us by. But there are great things ahead in days to follow, so stay tuned. Today, there is a girls' volleyball game at 4 o'clock, so be there. That's it for today, so for me and everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day.